Um, now I'm going to say a few words uh, in terms of why I'm here today. Uh, my sister-in-law is actually Dennis's cousin, and she let me know about what took place uh, that day about a week after it happened. And I will say that I was shocked. I was shocked that I hadn't heard about it already. I was shocked that it wasn't a national story. And most importantly, I was shocked that, this, that the investigation wasn't going to be independent, that it was going to be from the Essex County DA's office. Um, one of the reasons why it's really important that the Essex County DA's office doesn't run this investigation is because they are an interested party. The Essex County DA uses the Lynn Police Department's investigations to solve crimes. They have a, a very compelling interest to find that these officers did nothing wrong. But most importantly, the reason that I'm here today is because I believe in the Fourth Amendment, and I believe in probable cause, and I believe that no one should have their house, their home, and their family violated by the, any local police department when they're just sitting at home minding their own business. Um, what happened to Dennis that day could have happened to any one of us, and it's important that we realize that. Not just because Dennis fought for the Constitution of the United States. He fought for our rights for these kinds of things not to happen here in the United States. He risked his life for us, and he deserved better than that. The more people know about this, the more outraged they're gonna be that a veteran who risked his life, risked his life for this country, had to suffer such a fate at the hands of the police department that's supposed to protect them. And even worse, that his son had to witness that. And even worse, that what he was accused of or what they were investigating was a misdemeanor that would have gotten him just a citation, not a sentence of death. There was no emergency taking place. There was nothing, no reason that they had to go into his home that day. And we need to make sure that everyone knows that. I know the details, as a uh, young man before me just said, the details aren't all there, but there are enough details to know that one of those cops committed a grave error. One of those cops, between the three of them, committed a grave error. There were three armed police officers going to investigate a disturbing the peace call. How that turns into someone murdered within their home by police officers without a warrant in front of their son is a question that none of us can answer right now. And whatever details are released from the DA's investigation isn't going to answer that either. So please, again, I want to tell you, go forward and make sure that Dennis's death is not in vain. It could have been any one of us, any one of our families. It just so happened to be a military veteran who did nothing that day and lost his life. So please, please make sure you to, to keep, keep this going. Keep this going. Do not let it stop. You guys are going to be the energy that keeps this going. And it has to grow. And more people have to be outraged and informed about what took place that day. Thank you.
I told them that I'm, I don't have a husband anymore. I don't have a father to my son anymore. That they murdered him in front of my child. With not a word. With nothing. That nobody's reached out. No indication of an actual investigation. From Shame from on you guys, really. There's no the investigation will come from the district attorney's well, office. Well, the district attorney's office is dragging their feet, too. Well, your, your issue That's why we're asking the district attorney's office, office yeah. not the police department. Well, 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 the police department kind of They're the ones that shot my husband in front of my five-year-old child. My husband was unarmed, no drugs in the house, no nothing in the house. I need an answer. My children need an answer. My five-year-old son had blood all over him. How if it was your son or your grandchild? Tell me how you would feel. Do you sleep at night? Because I haven't slept in 30 days. I haven't slept in 30 days. And I don't think I'll ever sleep again because of you guys. You're supposed to protect people. You don't take their life. They're just going to protect this fellow officer and go by his Of course, you can always record the police. Always record the police. That way there's a reliable record.